Welcome back to another little bit of Lisp. This episode is based on a tip from lisptips.com. Okay, so we're going to start by looking at some different ways of writing numbers. We've seen some stuff already, like we know how to write integers. Um, we know how to write kind of floating point numbers, these approximations of decimals. We also know how to write precise numbers using rationals, these fractions. Um, but there are other ways of writing the integers as well. Because sometimes the syntax, like kind of the way we write something down, can make something clearer than it otherwise would be. For example, if we want to write a specific binary number, say this one, this is 213, maybe the order of the bits here, maybe that pattern means more than just the number 213 would on its own. So we have this notation. And in fact, we can write things in a number of different radices. So this is exactly the same thing. This is saying radix 2 or base 2. It, which is what binary is. So this number is in radix 2. Cool. We can also write the same number in a bunch of different ways. So I'm going to look down at my notes here. We can see that 0325 is 213 in octal. Um, we can also write in hexadecimal, which would be D5 in this case. See, all of these are the same value. And this little thing here, this hash R um, with the number of the radix also works in other places. So what we can do here is say hash, whoops, 16. This is just saying, okay, now we're, we're in base 16. Base 16 is hexadecimal, so this is the same thing. There's a few um, little bits and bobs out there as well. Check it out. Um, as well as being able to write this down and get the integer back, you can see we get the same value every time. It's often you want to be able to print these out in these form. Um, so let's have a look at that. If we're just going to do format nil right now, because we're going to produce a string, um, we're going to take a value like this. Well, actually, we'll just put the 213 in here. And if we just print it with tilde a, if I can actually type tilde a, then we get 213 back in our string. Fine. But if we set this to be uh, tilde b, we'll see that we get it back in binary notation. If we put it to x in hexadecimal, if we put it in o, we get octal. So this is a way that we can get back to this representation um, as well as just writing out in that representation in the first place. Thanks for stopping by and I'll see you in the next little bit of Lisp.